And I think it's the time that I felt the first time a real injustice. And I see myself, and I was not really proud of myself first, knowing the conditions that I have to, to go to study and see their conditions to go to study. Many of them were walking to go to school kilometers every day with a very hot sun, don't have anything around them that can support them in their academics, um, and don't necessarily have the support of their family. Many of them have parents that did not go to school, so they cannot support them or guide them or anything, and the environment doesn't offer anything. You don't even have a library, you don't even have a cinema, you don't even have anything. And the, the, the thing that I felt was injured is like, how come me that have access to everything and have the privilege to learn in the best conditions ever, me and those young people are going to get the same final evaluation. That was unfair. And I still feel that it is unfair. And that year, I take the commitment because of the sadness and the, 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 the total lose of hope of those young people really affected me. And when I come back to Dakar after that, I keep thinking about it, I keep thinking about that, and um, I finally decided to do something. And I started to talk with some friend of mine that was already graduated and that was at the university. And I tell them, guys, I want to do something which can be hard, but could be very, very useful for many young people that are in distress. Um, and they, they were okay. And the idea was, okay, we're going to take a bus, put 20 of us and go there and spend a month with them and support them every day and every night to success to their exam. Wow. And that's what we did. Wow. And we did that for the first year. I remember I was 17. I, uh, uh, my friends were between, yes, yeah, 17 and 23. We went to the... Um, to the Mayo, the Mayo gave us um, the youth house. We did not have even one room. We have just the, um, the balcony in the roof. We have just the roof actually, and the roof had one bathroom for 20 people. And we stayed there and we, we had one rule. We do not say to any young people at any time that we cannot support. So we were giving class mostly from eight in the morning to midnight every day and we supported more than 150 plus um, candidates that was preparing the, the baccalaureate. And after the results, the results of the group of young people who supported was higher than the result of the young people in the school. And this is the, the, the good feeling of the entrepreneur, seeing that you can make a difference. And what I'm saying to you, what I'm telling you now, it's the lesson learned after years. Not what I get necessarily at the, at the moment of it. What I get at the moment of it was, wow, as a single individual willing, you can change the life of many people.